Hey sports fans, it's Larry Eater with Run Blog Run. We're with Dan Levy, who's the global vice president of Skechers Performance. I did it right. Which you did it right. Unusual it was perfect. Me, right? It was perfect. Okay. First take. It's first take. It's scary. Dan, would you take us through spring 2017, some of the product that Skechers has? Yeah, absolutely. I, I, I want to talk just a second about the platform and about Please. Skechers and our, and our position in the market. You know, I'm speaking on behalf of, of Kurt Stockbridge and the design team. You know, for us, the approach is about purity. It's about taking a lot of componentry out of the product, making a shoe that's, um, you know, not just a basic shoe, but something that's not going to get in the way of your biomechanics and just help you run a shoe you're going to forget about, enjoy your run, and just get after it. That's what we're all about here. So, uh, uh, you know, on that note, I'll probably talk about what we consider our marquee product, and that is the Go Run 5. So this product, we first actually launched this at the New York City Marathon. We had some special edition versions um, about a month ago. It's going to be in the marketplace uh, in the next 30 days. So this is really um, our neutral cushion product. Uh, we have a fully uh, new parametric design outsole, so a lot more traction, a lot more durability, um, a circular knit upper, highly elasticized, so it's all about an integrated fit, and that comes back to that kind of that purity and just forgetting you're wearing the shoe and just enjoying your run, man. It's, it's a fantastic shoe, and the response here at the running event has been amazing. And what's so, the retail for that? Uh, it's going to be right around $100. That's a very nice it's a great, for it, you guys. It's a great value. Yeah, it's a great yeah. value. It's, it's, it's right where we need to be with this type of shoe. So. And then, you know, while a lot of the world is still uh, enjoying our neutral product, you have to have some structured product, some stability product in there as well. So we actually have the Go Run Forza. This is the Forza 2. Uh, the big update here is the material. We have this sublimated mono mesh upper, so it's really clean, really fitted. Um, and this is actually the medial post. Um, it's a really significant medial uh, post. Yeah. But the idea is it doesn't matter if you're an early, middle, or late stage pronator, it's gonna pick you up regardless. It's a very unobtrusive stability shoe. In other words, a lot of stability shoes, you know they're doing the job, right? You're thinking about your shoe, wow, that's correcting me. You don't know that's happening with this shoe. It disappears underfoot, and that's really, really cool for a stability shoe. It really is like running with nothing on there at all. And it's a shoe I'm actually wearing now. It's a shoe I run in. It's fantastic. And what's that retail for? Uh, this retails for around 120 and this one has a lot more rubber coverage on the bottom. And, you know, for us, even a shoe like this, I, come, I think it comes in, uh, you know, under it, nine ounces in a women's uh, uh, seven, even less than that. So it really, really is lightweight for stability shoe. Why do women like uh, Skechers running shoes so much? Well, it's a funny question. Obviously, Skechers has been around for, for 25 years with the second biggest shoe brand in America after Nike. For the first 18, 19 years of our existence, we were a lifestyle brand. Sure. So we know about aesthetics. Yeah. We know how to make beautiful shoes. So it's all we see. It's got to be love at first sight. So they fall in love with the shoe on the wall first, and then they come and they realize that the technology is everything they're looking for. It's That's kind of what we do. It's what we've always done. That's cool. You know. And then two more shoes to get after real quick. Uh, after the, the neutral shoe and the stability shoe, we do a race shoe. And this is really inspired by Meb. And this is actually, this is the women's version, obviously. But this is, I have to show you the tongue. This is the Go Meb Speed 4. So this is, you know, Meb's been a really cool addition to the team. He came on, obviously, as the world's best spokesperson. He also came on as a bit of the development side as well, where we built some shoes around his foot. Um, and we've continued to build the shoes specifically for the way he races. And the world has come around to love his racing flats. So this is the GoMeb Speed 4. Again, it has that parametric web design on this, the high carbon rubber outsole. So non-slip, lots of durability. Uh, DuPont high trail shank in here. So this acts, shank acts like a spring, a little harder material. So our durometer gets ticked up a bit here because it is a racing flat. And now instead of circular knit or mono mesh uppers, we're actually doing these um, flat knits. The flat knit's a bit more of a lockdown shoe. It's a little stiffer, has a little more structural integrity. It's a racing shoe. You don't want to be moving around a lot here. So, cool. And what's the retail for? Uh, I believe that's also about 120. Okay, nice so. prices. All right, I like that. And then uh, last but not least, certainly um, our uh, Ultra Series. So this is our maximum cushion product. This is a Go Trail Ultra 4. This is actually in the marketplace right now. We just launched this. Um, this is our serious trail shoe uh, for, you know, those crazy distances that, you know, the ultra runners uh, use them for. A lot of rubber coverage here, but one thing you get from this shoe that you can't get from the Southern Maximum Cushion shoes. Flexibility. Unbelievable flexibility yeah. and structural integrity. It's not unstable, so it's a really, really cool shoe. Uh, one of the unique uh, systems here is our drainage system, and I want to show you this if I can on screen. Water can flow right through the sock liner. There's actually channels under the mesh, and then there's ports on the side. So hopefully you got that. The water actually flows right through here. A lot of people talk about waterproof trail running shoes. 
The trick is not keeping the water from getting into the shoe. The trick is getting the water out of the shoe because trail runners run in water well up above their shoes. This is something that dries out on their foot really quickly. We were developing it specifically for ultra trail runners. And this is version four. First three versions have been fantastic. So this is our maximum That's cushion awesome. trail what's shoe. What's that retail for? This retails also for around 110, I believe. So You found that sweet spot for you guys uh, in running retail. Because originally you started the prices were a little lower and retail yes. guys were giving you a little bit of trouble. That's absolutely correct. Everything as, was 80 bucks. And, right. you know. and as you've learned, you've, you've learned to communicate with that marketplace. So here's my two final questions. Okay. If you were in front of a group of running retailers, what would you tell them on why they should carry Skechers? It goes back to the first, the first uh, thing I said in this interview is, you know, purity and, and design integrity and really paying attention to the needs of the runner taking a lot of componentry out of product and, and making everything they need and nothing they don't. And then there's the price to value ratio where, you know, what we're giving them and what we're charging them and how they can actually, you know, service a consumer at great prices. No one does it like we do. Nobody. And then if you're in a room full of runners who are kind of going, Skechers? Why you know, it's funny. Those? It's funny you ask that because we had a couple retailers who brought our shoes in and they had customers who were resistant to the brand just based on Skechers. Sure. So they did this double blind thing where they had to put shoes on their feet and didn't tell them what shoe it was. And they're like, wow, these are great. What brand is this? And they started to name all of the heritage brands and they realized Skechers. And then they had that light bulb thing that says, you got to try them. And when we get in front of consumers and we do a lot of grassroots activities with running retailers and we get out on their run clubs and they go with expos, when we go direct to consumer, the magic happens. The shoes work and that's what I did. Tell them about the purity and then tell them put the shoes on their feet. That's all I need to do.